updates, yearbooks, and sports activities. Hello, I'm Gaston Sanchez here with another food review reporting for TNN. So last night, I went to BJ's to try out their chocolate chip pizookie. It took about five to seven minutes to arrive, but once it got there, it was really tasty. After eating the entire pizookie, I'd rate it a eight out of 10. I'm Gaston Sanchez here with another food review reporting for TNN. Honestly, thank you so much, Gaston, for that food review. I love pizookies, and I know Nate does too. Yeah, I love pizookies. I actually prefer the Oreo one too. I do too. I'm Delaney. And I'm Nate. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart, ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which all stand, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. The deadline for the yearbook cover contest is February 22nd, and the deadline to buy the yearbook is March 1st. Today is the last day of the six-week grading period. If you're interested in coming back to in-person school, even if you're currently all online, you have the option to come back. The Soro Diversity Coalition in English 2 Esports and Entrepreneurship are two new features at the Soro. Check out Canvas announcements for more information. Nate asked Cammie to tell us a little bit about Ceramics Class. I'm Nate Warren, reporting for TNN, and I'm here in my house with, on a Zoom call with Cammie King. So Cammie, you have been taking ceramics for the past year, and uh, that's a very hands-on class. So what projects have you been working on and how is that class online? Um, when I was in person, I made this um, glass thing that holds all my pens. And then right now I'm working on this um, koala, but his ear broke. Um, but I like the class online, but you just have to stay motivated because it's really easy to like get behind on projects, especially from creating them at home. Yeah, that's probably super hard to keep up with all your projects, like you just said, because you have to go and get the clay and whatnot, and uh, I love your koala for sure. <laughs> Look great. Yeah, well, you're just missing an ear. <laughs> um, from my room, I'm Nate Warren, reporting for TNN. Ceramics sounds like such a fun class, and it's a great way to get your art credits for school. Yeah, I've seen a lot of cool designs come out of that class. I have too. The water fountains are back in use at school. Let's check out Zach's video for more info. From Zoom, I'm Zach, reporting for TNN. We are almost out of bottled water up in the front office. The automatic touchless water fountains around campus have been turned on, so please plan on bringing your own refillable water bottle to campus. Water bottles will no longer be av available in the office. From Zoom, I'm Zach, reporting for TNN. So glad those are back in use. Sometimes I get super thirsty at school, and now I won't. Yeah, I always run out of water, so that's nice to have now. And don't forget to bring your reusable water bottles to school. Ashley asked Grant about some soccer updates. I'm Ashley Grinner reporting for TNN. I'm here in a Zoom call with Grant Miller. I know some sports at the high school are stopping because they might not have a season like football. So that being said, is soccer still practicing or are you guys taking a break too? Soccer is still currently practicing. We just get to go out and go have fun and play around with the soccer ball. I think that's really great that you guys are out there and still practicing, just trying to have as much fun as possible. And I hope any other sport that you guys are playing is practicing too. And just keep a good mindset. From our Zoom call, I'm Ashley Gruner reporting for TNN. I agree with Ashley. I think it's so great that they're practicing and I really hope they get a full season. Yeah, hopefully I can go to some of their games too. Casey asked Grace about new ASB updates and future activities. I'm Casey Sherman reporting for TNN. I'm here on Zoom with Grace Lickner. So I know you're an ASB. Can you give us an update on what you're planning right now? Yeah, so right now we're trying to figure out some events for seniors and for the whole student body as a whole because obviously we haven't done that much this year. So we're really trying to figure out dodgeball and senior luau and senior night and um, clash of classes. And we're trying to figure out how we can incorporate all these activities into the school year while following COVID restrictions. So we're working really hard to try and get that figured out so we can make this second semester more fun. Well, I really hope dodgeball works out because that's one of my favorite single favorite times of the year. Thank you for your input. From Zoom, I'm Casey Shamer reporting for TNN. 
I think ASB is doing so great at thinking of activities, especially considering what's going on today. Yeah, it must be really hard to come up with new ideas. But they're doing a great job. That's all I have for, you, for my portion. Now off to Nate for the rest of the show. Let's hear Delaney talk about how to end of Let's hear Delaney talk about how to get your yearbook in the, and get into the cover contest. I'm Delaney Sprasio reporting for TNN. I'm here in my bedroom letting you guys know about the 2020 and 2021 yearbook. If you're interested in buying a yearbook, it is $95 or $90 with an ASB card. To buy the yearbook, go to Canvas and click on the link to the ASB store. The deadline to order the yearbook is March 1st. Also, there's a contest for the cover. All entries are due on February 22nd, which is next Monday. Fill out the Google form found on Canvas. All information can be found on Canvas. Don't forget to buy your yearbook. From my bedroom, I'm Delaney Sprasio, reporting for TNN. Yeah, I'm definitely going to check out that website to get my 2021 yearbook. I am too. I think that's so great to get the yearbook, and I think you guys should all try out for the cover contest too. Casey caught up with her friend to talk more about cross country. I'm Casey Zimmer reporting for TNN. I'm here on Zoom with Ava Simpson. So Ava, as sport slowly start going back to normal, can you just give us an update on cross country? Okay, so cross country has started its season, and we actually had a race two weekends ago at Capo, and then we have one coming up this weekend at Elisa Niguel, and then we'll have our last one at San Juan Hills, and then that will be it for cross country, and then we go to track. Well, that is so exciting. Good luck with the rest of those races from Zoom on Casey Zim and your first time. It's really great to see that some of our students are finally being able to get out on track. Agreed. I think cross country is a good sport because you can be safe while still running. Now let's hear Brady talk about the senior drive-in activity. What's up to Sora? I'm Brady here in my room reporting for TNN. And seniors, you're going to want to pay attention because I got you with this one. So if you're a senior, there's a good chance you got this email pretty much saying that there's going to be a Chick-fil-A sandwich and quote, senior swag for a senior drive through event. This, or not this Friday, but this coming up Friday on the 26th. This is going to be at the senior lot from 315 to 530, and you do need to make an appointment using the link down below. So seniors, in a year where we don't have much going on for us, ASB is trying to work for us, so the best we can do is go to stuff like this and support them. I know I'll be there, and I hope to see you guys there. From my room, this has been Brady reporting for TNN. I think it's really great that the seniors are finally finding something fun to do. Agreed. I hope all seniors have a great time at that event. Caroline caught up with Sutton to ask about her four-day weekend. Hi, I'm Caroline Clark here in Zoom with Sutton Edmonds reporting for TNN. Welcome back, Titans. I hope you had an amazing four-day weekend. I know I did. So Sutton, how did you spend your four-day weekend? And for the four-day weekend, I went on a ski trip with some friends. We went skiing, snowboarding, cross-country skiing, um, tubing, all COVID safe, and overall had a good time. That sounds like so much fun. Well, from Zoom, I'm Caroline Clark, reporting for TNN. Personally, I just slept all the four days, but son, that sounds really fun. Agreed. I'm glad that someone went out to get skiing, but Nate and I were pretty bored this weekend. That's all we have for you today, Tessara. Thank you for tuning in to your one and only source of Titan News. Have a ferocious Friday.